Hey everybody and welcome back to Mr. Martin Science Corner. So if you watched my last video, you might have been wondering why does Mr. Martin have lettuce in his window right there? It's not there anymore, but I'll tell you why. It's because in this experiment, we are going to be using lettuce and changing its color. So what do we need for this one? Well, we need a jar of some sort. I'm gonna use this plastic one, but of course, if you have a glass one, that's great, as long as it's see-through. Gonna need some water. So, fine to do this experiment at the sink. You're going to need food coloring, which usually comes in packs of four like this. You're going to need some kitchen scissors, if you have them. Other scissors work just fine. And then finally, you're going to need a piece of lettuce. Now you can also use celery or cabbage or any other sort of nice big leafy kind of green, um, but not too green. What we, what we really want is it uh, for it to have some sort of big white part like this piece of lettuce does. Um, and so one really great part of this experiment is that if you have some lettuce or celery or or whatever sitting around that is getting a little bit old and you don't really want to eat it because it's a little old and it might not be good anymore. That is perfect for this experiment um, because what we're going to be doing is uh, changing the color by having it drink uh, different colored water. Um, and so if it's more thirsty, then it's even better. So if you have wilty lettuce, perfect. So what we're going to do is choose what color you want to use. Um, I have already used red and blue, which I'll show you in just a minute. So I'm going to use, I'm going to make purple lettuce this time. That's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to put about 10 drops of red, about 10 drops of blue, And, and fill it up with water. You don't want to fill it all the way up because we're putting lettuce in there, remember? Uh, but maybe a third of the way up would be fine. Um, yeah, looks pretty clear. You can, I mean, looks pretty, looks pretty, pretty mixed up. You can mix it up with a spoon or something if you like, but just be careful because it is food coloring. Um, so now we're gonna take our lettuce or celery or whatever you're using and cut off the end just a little bit. But what we want is a nice, clean edge. And so now all we're, all we're gonna do is put that lettuce or celery or whatever right into that container, okay? So it's gonna look something like that. And now over the next couple of days, you can watch and see what happens. And so I have, uh, I've had some lettuce in some of these cups for a little while, so I'll show you what to expect and what you can watch. And then I'll give you some new words um, to add to your vocabulary, to your science vocabulary. So let's see, this red one I put in this jar uh, yesterday evening. So it's been in here for probably 16, uh, probably 20 hours at this point. And so what you can start to see is, let's see, yeah, that'll work. So what you can start to see is that these lines that were white here, they're getting to be a little bit red. Um, there, you, you can see it a bit there. Yeah, they're getting to be a little bit red. And you can also see the front of the piece of lettuce that big, the big line there is getting to be quite red, okay? And this other one that I did, I did this one just a few hours ago, just this afternoon, it's in blue. And in this one you can see, really, that middle part is really starting to get blue. Um, there, I, you can see it there. So it's really starting to get blue. So what's going on here? Well, um, as we are going to see when we talk about our seeds and beans that we planted a couple of days ago, um, 
plants of course have roots, right? And so that's, uh, that's what we were trying to do with those, with those seeds and beans. And so usually those roots are in the ground and they are collecting the water. And so they're using this, this thing that we call capillary action and it's with their capillaries. So there's, there's that word capillaries, there we go. And what they're, what they're using is capillary action. And it's kind of like a straw. It's like if you stuck a straw in the ground and there was a lot of water in the ground, then, you know, maybe you could get water through, uh, up through your straw out of the ground. But um, plants are doing this in a very small way with all of their roots. And so, of course, uh, so there's capillaries, capillary action. So the capillaries are these little tubes, sort of. You can think about them as straws or you can think about them um, as like a vein in a human. Uh, the capillaries are these little tubes and they're pretty much the white parts in the lettuce or in the leaf of whatever you're using. And uh, so they're really just drawing up, they're collecting the water, which in this case is all sorts of different colors. And so you can see the water going up the main stalk and throughout the rest of the leaf. And so you can really see the capillary action in action. <laughs> um, so that's a pretty cool experiment. And you can watch this uh, develop over the next few days and you can see how, um, how red or how blue or whatever color you're using, how much the leaf gets to be that color. Um, one other really cool thing you can do is use uh, a flower and it's best if you use a white flower. Um, so let's see, what do we, what do we have? for white flowers, I guess daisies. Um, like those are usually white, right? Yeah, so you can get one of those um, and you can put those in water and they can um, turn whatever color you're, you're using. Or you can very carefully cut the stem into two different parts, make sure it's still connected, but cut it into two, two different parts. And uh, so kind of like this, if we were to do it on a piece of lettuce, and then you can put that, those two different parts, each into a different color of water and see what happens there. That is really cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on capillaries, capillary action, and changing plants into all sorts of crazy colors. Um, I would love to see uh, what plants you're using and, um, and how that's turning out. So feel free to send me a picture of those at uh, Mr. Martin Science Corner at gmail.com. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach me there too. You can comment on the videos, or uh, if you're in Mr. Lalongo or Ms. Bomani's class, you can contact me at uh, on Class Dojo. All right, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody.